Welcome back. We're talking now about the Winter Antique Show. It's happening in New York City right now, celebrating its 62nd year as the most prestigious art, antiques, and design fair in the country, making, uh, marking the beginning of the American fine art season. I'm here right now with art collector Michael Cox Whitmer, who has brought with him some original American art pieces. Good to see you, Michael. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. The, the show, how important is that art, art and antique show for uh, I, uh, actual commerce of those things. It's a very important yeah. show. The dealers there make new clients and all of the buyers of course would like to be there because it's a vetted show. So there's a committee of experts coming through ahead of time to make sure that everything's authentic and in good shape. If you're a buyer of course you care about that. And if you're a buyer sometimes you actually look at things like art as an alternative to investing in the stock market which has been troubled. You brought some pieces with you. I brought some pieces yeah. along because Winter Antique Show is largely an American show. Yeah. So we're really zeroing in right now on Americana, on our own cultural heritage. And uh, we have a few pieces that I brought with me. One is this uh, Mark Toby painting. Mark Toby was an American abstract expressionist artist. His prices are a fraction of the other abstract expressionists, but he was really influential. So these are still well under $20,000 each. They'll go up in value. Good pieces for investors. Wow, interesting. Okay, and what about the one behind you? Uh, well, this one, of course, is everybody's favorite. This is Grandma Moses. Grandma Moses is like a household name. In your green room here at Fox, everybody was coming in because they wanted to see the Grandma Moses. And here we have people building a barn. Building a barn is sort of the best of Americana. It shows the love of your neighbor, uh, a goodness that we, we respect here in the United States. And we have Grandma Moses who painted this when she was 95 years old. Wow. Isn't that interesting? These pieces are in a, a price range that are $200,000, okay. more or less. Uh, she was first sold by Gallery Saint Etienne. They have a beautiful stand full of them at the Winter Antique Show. They should be many times this price, so these are great for investors to So you to think that goes to. up in value as well? Definitely. Now, this one you said was about 20000 but you think it does go up? I think these will go up. If you look at what Jackson Pollock paintings would sell for, even a little tiny one, you can see about the size of my hand, Jackson Pollock is still going to be a lot more than $20,000. Sure. And these were artists that painted together knew each other and they were very influential. Is the second one the same artist, the, this small one here? Over here? Yeah. This piece would be from the end of the 18th century. This is by Benjamin West who was born in 1738 in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania before it was the United States of America. Wow. He, he traveled and he became the court painter to King George III. That would be about a $25,000 price range. But there's a Benjamin West in every major museum, so these should go up in value too. Benjamin Good for investors. How do, you, how do you identify something that you think is going to go up in value? <laughs> so that's a million dollar question, right? Uh, of course it is, but that, that's very good. <laughs> of course we all want to find a good contemporary piece that's going to go up in value, but now they're in millions of dollars. So we're looking at areas that are undervalued, paintings that are already in museums, and, and uh, we really respect an art history. Really good stuff. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Michael Cox Whitmer there. Uh, 